welcome to the channel today we're gonna unbox gi joe classified falcon i got my falconet as you can see gamestop 24.99 could have signed up for the rewards card would have cost 20 dollars to do that so i figured in the long run i only go to gamestop once or twice a year 25 bucks for the falcon what are you going to do? So here we are. So. Get my scissors out. I'm going to take him out of the bottom. I keep all my boxes. I only temporarily display my figures. I get them out. Um, look at them. Show them off. Hopefully make a video out of them. And then I put them back in the box and I'll get them out again it's kind of fun that way you forget what you bought and you forget what you had and then so if you put them away and get them out once or twice a year it's like Christmas all over again box Vincent R Falcon Falcone all right side of the box back of the box windowless packaging here again not sure I feel like that I don't really like it that art there it's it's not my favorite I do like the texture on it part him he is shiny glossy I guess and the, everything else is kind of a flat paint I guess so oh, I guess I'll leave that up there so here we got he's number 64 in a series here's his locker this is where they put all of your accessories this one feels like it's got more than rock and roll did should I get them all so, oh, nope, there's something in there. Ooh, forgot about his knife. All right. That's all the accessories. First off, we got a backpack, which looks like a radio on it. We got a knife, silver knife with a gray handle, so that's pretty cool. We've got a beret and we've got a shotgun pump shotgun hmm. guess that's what that is it's got the butt can come down and you can use it that way, or you can one handle it. All right, let's get him out of the box. And there he is. Get my scissors. One thing I do like about these windowless plastic, less no plastic packaging is these twist ties are made out of cardboard as well and they're easy to cut with your knife all right out of the box he feels pretty good not bad uh, I don't know. sure about his there we go so there he is he's got a kerchief on around his neck uh, no tattoos, no extra hands. Um, does have a knife. He's got the belt buckle. He's got the straps over him. Not sure if I like. He's got his shirt tail is built, actually built into this 
harness system here. So, I'm not sure if I like that at all. Kind of looks silly to me. I'd rather have just molded that onto the character. Hmm. Articulation, normal, classified, double jointed elbows, wrists, good wrist movement, head movement. He looks up, you give him that, and he looks way up here. You can look down, all the way out, drop down hips, double, oh boy. Double jointed knees, but they are tight. Tight out of the box. Very tight. Oh. Boy. That is tight. Hmm. Ankle. Back and forth. And toe can. Not much there. Hardly any at all. A little bit. Oh no, there he goes. Everything is tight on this guy. Woo. Alright, let's get him together. Got a knife. Well, first we get his backpack. Let's get his backpack ready to go. It goes in there. That's good and tight too. That's not going to come out. Then we've got his beret. Get his beret on. He looks better with his hat, with his beret. Knife, I think, goes into the backpack. Right there. Yeah, I'm not liking this. You really got to pull that down, that harness down. To not have a gap in there and look kind of funny. All right, then we get his shotgun in his hand. He's going to one hand it today. There he is. You know, his knees are super tight, but his hips are. They're pretty loose. You see that? It's going to fall right down. But the knees, my God, they are tight. So there he is. He's not my favorite one. He's. So far, I'd say he's my least favorite one. But we'll still put him on the Toshi Station Emporium. Stand. Put him against that. There we go. Doesn't look bad. It looks better on that. That stand can make and break. Well, it's not going to break it. It definitely will make your figures. That is awesome. That's awesome on that stand. You can go to TashiStationEmporium.com for these stands. I'll hold this up. Not overly expensive, neither. www.TashiStationEmporium.com They do have a bad guy. I don't think he's licensed, so he's just calling it the bad guy explosion stand and the good guy explosion stand when I ordered it he did send two small stands too just regular stands so I put rock and roll on one of those now you tell me <laughs> which one of those is better no doubt rock and roll blows away Falcon he's not bad he would definitely be a guy not played with if, if somebody's gonna play with these toys 
he's getting picked last. Rock and roll, he could be a first pick. And, and when I first bought Rock and Roll, I wasn't sure. But, man, he is awesome. And he's original Joe, too, so that even makes it cooler. All right, well. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.